Hey, let it fish. It's the 13th of September, 2018. And, uh, I almost didn't go back and look at this speech that Trump made on 9-11, uh, but I did. And there are multiple very, very telling things of which I'm going to share a couple with you this morning. Um, I've gone through this multiple times pertaining to Bush Jr. Uh, reading Psalm 23 on 9-11-2001. Uh, just reading off a teleprompter. Uh, same with Obama in 2011, 9-11, Psalm 46. Just reading off a teleprompter. I mean, you can even watch this and see that it almost troubles him to read this scripture. I'm not kidding. Watch his mannerisms. And then we had Trump. Uh, you would think he would read Psalm 69, right? Well, you'll, you'll never see that happen. But what you will see is what I'm going to show you. And this is the linchpin to the whole Luciferian, Satanic, Masonic ritual that is playing out all around us. And this is absolutely leading to an event of epic proportions. But remember, you know, God is over everything. And as long as you're in Jesus Christ, saved through his blood, that these things will not harm you or put you in fear. So just remember that. But we had Donald Trump and we're looking for the 69. And sure enough, people, he's telling a story about a woman whose husband perished in this alleged crash. And all that she wanted was her wedding ring from the crash site, okay? And, and it's a good thing that that's all she wanted because nothing else remained, okay? There were no plane parts. There were no nothing, no seats, no wheels, no engines that always survive plane crashes, always. There's never any exception, except for here in Shanksville. Not a single solitary plane part until, okay, when this first happened, some young guys, some local guys actually showed up. They got a couple of pictures. Then the first responders showed up. More pictures. There are those guys over there. It's nothing less than a missile crater. That's, that's where a missile blew up, right? That's all there is to it. No airplane, no nothing, right? But as soon as the feds show up, they form a human chain around it and tell everybody to get the hell out of there. And this is just the way it works, folks. There was no plane crash there. And in fact, you even had the coroner himself literally say that there were no bodies found at all. Not a single drop of blood. Okay. This guy, right out of his own mouth. Okay. It's the most eerie thing he said. I've not to this day seen a single drop of blood, not a drop. So it's all a lie. And Trump is telling this story about this woman's husband, which is a lie. But listen to what he says uh, about this, this heart-wrenching story, which is exactly how they keep pulling the chain of the people. People with goodwill will just latch on to these heart-wrenching stories which are blatant lies because they know how to feed on the goodness in you and in turn destroy you through it. This is the depths of the evil that you're dealing with. You need to know that. You need to know you're in a spiritual war, but it's not this willy-nilly cartoon level stuff. This is for your eternal soul. And without Jesus Christ... You are doomed. You're done. There is no salvation without him. Please understand that. Now listen to what Mr. Trump said on 9-11. This is him describing the ring that this woman wanted back. And of course they found it. It's very inspiring and, and just heartstring pulling tearjerker. Okay. But listen to what he says. Dead followed by the number 8269 the date of their anniversary 8269 
Okay, now if you understand anything, first there's your 69, your 23, 46, 69. But what does it mean? 8, 2. 8, 2 is very interesting. There are several things that we can point to with 8, 2. But first, let's just go back 82 days from 9, 11. And where does it land us? Exactly on the summer solstice. The summer solstice is the, you got to understand Freemasonry and how these actors it's just amazing stuff but just know this the summer solstice is represented by the 69 the cancer okay it's also the keystone this is the royal arch and everybody's seen this your two pillars Jacqueline and Boaz where do they come together as one at the keystone the keystone is what the 69 the cancer 69 is the keystone at the summer solstice that's what this represents. This is the zodiac. This represents the summer solstice. The triple tau. You need to look into this if you really want to know the details, but I'm telling you right now, this is what it is. And he's pointing right to it. The 69. What is his favorite day of the year? The 4th of July. He's a huge patriot, right? We'll go back 69 days from 9-11. 4th of July probably the biggest Luciferian celebration in this country because I'm sorry to tell you but that's what this country was founded on okay they tell you it's Judeo-Christian and yes there is a foundation of godliness a foundation of biblical principles but it was created in order to use that constitution that was created you know through the leadership of God as we were led to believe but it was a God of this world because they're using our own constitution to turn the tide of evil against the Christians to crush them constitutionally you understand and it's gonna bring everything to violence and it's all coming it's just that simple but there's your 8269 and let's not forget uh, Psalm 82 just saying, huh? have I said, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Psalm 82. Let's look at the word in the Strong's Concordance, 8269. You'll, you'll love this. Hebrew, 8269. A head person of any class or rank, captain, chief, general. What is what is Trump? What do they all strive to be? Okay, keeper, lord, master, prince, ruler, steward. And now look at where this root word. Look at this. Just wrap your mind around this. X altogether to make self a prince, to bear rule six times. To make self a prince. Okay, do you understand? I, I'm not the greatest at explaining these things, but this is just a continuation of this giant ritual. And it's purely satanic. And it's purely leading to a plan uh, conclusion in their eyes. And, and these things will come to pass, but it's all under the control of God. If you only seek Him through Jesus Christ, all these things will make sense to you and you will be separate the, the it does not affect you you are saved sealed and delivered so seek jesus first above all things because this is going to come to pass i'm just being as straight up forward as i possibly can be talking about a wedding ring 8269 <laughs> ye are gods the triple tau, the two becoming one, the 69. This is what is coming. I'm just trying to get this out there and so people can know that when you really start to understand what you're seeing in this world, the evil that your gut just tells you is encroaching upon everything, turn to Jesus. Look up call on his name seriously because it's the only 
the only way out of any of this. It's the only way. You need to know that. And so I had to share this stuff with you. It's just something that I have to do. You know how it is. But I have to show you one more thing before I go here. And I do this every time, but I don't always share the scripture that I'm given. But I always ask for a Bible verse before I post a video. And uh, this is pretty incredible what I got here. Um, and this is true. This is the, the one I got. Genesis 6, 11 through 13. I mean, this is just really, really something that I pray people really take to heart because it's real. The earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. Okay. God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Okay? Uh, that's a pretty heavy verse for the Father to give me on this video, um, but there it is so keep looking up people keep praying always seeking jesus loving god with all your heart mind and strength because the time is short okay that's all peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 